Ashley, thank you. Today, runners are honoring the men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice. And the man who started the whole thing is from right here in Virginia. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves caught up with the runners. Honks and backed up cars on Shore Drive. It's not because of the normal morning rush, but something special. To come into my home state of Virginia has been such a, a rewarding moment. Between the police and sheriff escorts are runners, some civilians, others veterans. It's an organized effort by George Lutz called the Run for the Fall and honoring. Every single individual who gave their life while serving or as a result of serving. And it is no easy feat. Virginia is the last stop on a cross country run from California. They've been at it for four months now. The end is Arlington National Cemetery. This journey has been physically and emotionally exhausting. Yes, the weather is grueling at times, your body aches. Lutz says meeting families along the way though makes it all worth it. At certain points they stop, say a name, one of 20,000 service members who lost their lives over the last 18 years since the bombing of USS Cole. Using their dates of death, we've mapped a trail across America. Senior Airmen Alberto Antonio Merida, United States Air Force. This trip only has four more days left. They're hoping to reach a lot of people, even live streaming online. We hope we'll send a message to all those who don't understand that freedom comes at a price and it's important to remember who gave it to us. In Virginia Beach, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.